All right, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rechak Wadash. The ones to the elders and the apostles of the great middle stone, so he to all that I can push wherever true sincerity with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the heavenly father, whom the rare ignorant calls God and Jehovah. Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the son's name, but the rare ignorant calls Jesus and Rechak Wadash, the Holy Spirit. As always, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites, according to Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigner, scattered amongst other nations, whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage, through their father's line, go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you are Israelites, no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be. And as always, we're the brothers from the Great Millstone Chicago branch. Shemaiah. Tazawar. And I'm the brother, Yadaya. And, you know, we just got another lesson, you know, just, uh, you know, just entitled, it's, it's entitled, What's Left to Hold On To, you see? Because as the scripture say in the book of 1 Peter 4 and verse 7, it says, but the end of all things are at hand. You see, this is the end of the world. You know, it ain't no going back to how it used to be, you know, going back to everyday life, going back to, you know, uh, OK, I'm going to go to college. I'm going to go work on there. I'm going to go do. No, hey, it's the end of the world. And according to Revelation chapter 12 and 12, the devil, the self-proclaimed white man is going to come down with that great wrath because, you know, if they have a short time, hey, he knows that he's going to get taken out of power. You see, it ain't no going back to uh, life before the, you know, the the the, the plan, you know. So, hey, man, hey, hey, what, what the hell we, you know, hey, what, what is, where's your mindset at knowing these things? You know, but hey, this is Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. It says, in that, knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. Right. Mm -hmm. Look at what's going on in the world. You see, hey, the devil is trying to put his, his uh, serpent juice up in you. He's trying to make it mandatory to put his serpent juice in you, man. You know, and what's that going to lead to him trying to put his MTOB inside of you? We're at the very last end. It says, uh, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. You see, hey, the Lord is at the door, man. You see, ain't no more uh, playing around, man. Ain't no more going back to normal life. Hey, hey, it's time to lock in. It says, verse 12, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Right. It, it's time for us, as it says in Micah 2 and 10, arise and depart for this is not your rest. This ain't the time to get lackadaisical, uh, get settled on our leaves. No, it's the time to be even more in the spirit, you know, walk more in the spirit. Verse 13, it says, let us walk honestly as in a day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy. Right. So we can't be uh, consumed with what's going on in it, with the things of this world. Uh, in a book of Luke, it says, uh, for as a snare, because hey, these people are going to get snared up. Uh, I believe it's Luke 21. Yeah, I'm going to grab this real quick. This Luke chapter 21 and 35. And I'll go back to it. This Luke chapter 21 and verse 35, and it reads... It says, for as a, uh, well, verse 34, it says, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfing, and your heart is your mind, with surfing and drunkenness and cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unaware. So you got to, you got to uh, constantly examine yourself, make sure that you're on point, and make sure that you're not being, uh, letting outside factors, you know, uh, deter your salvation, so to say. It says, and cares of this life. So, hey, to hell with, with, with the expectation of, uh, of this world, what this world wants you to do. Hey, it's all about serving the Lord and doing what the Lord wants us to do right now. You see? It says, uh, verse 35, for as the snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth. You see, these people are blinded. They're in darkness. They think it's going to continue. But no, this is the end. It, it, it doesn't go back to normal, man. You see? Verse 36, watch ye therefore and pray always. That ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So that's the mindset you got to have right now. Uh, I, I need to get right with the Lord. I need to do as much as I can to serve the Lord. I need to stack as much spiritual currency as I can so that I can get away from this danger, this perils that's going to come to this place. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because hey, Isaiah 33 verse 6, it says, hey, we stirring these things up as treasures, mm -hmm. right? Because hey, hey, we're going to use these things in, in, in the future, man. Mm -hmm. Right, when all hell breaks loose, man. All right, the fear that we had towards the Halbach Shemal Shah that we have towards the Halbach Shemal Shah is gonna benefit us in that day, man. Mm -hmm. All right, but these people living it up wanted to go to the house of Murph instead of going to the house of mourning. All right, hey, your ass is gonna, hey, you're gonna be destroyed, man. All right, because they tell you in um, uh, Matthew's 24th chapter, man, these people are gonna be living it up, man. All right, giving it to marriage, man. All right, and then what's gonna happen? They're gonna be taken away with that flood, man. Yep. All mm -hmm. hell breaks loose. Jacob's trouble is gonna hit their ass, man. <laughs> you know mm -hmm. 
Hey, it's gonna catch the, it's gonna catch him with their pants down, man. Yep. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna go back to that uh that Romans. This is Romans chapter thirteen. This is like yeah. This is Romans chapter thirteen and verse uh fourteen. Well, I'm gonna hit verse four, uh, thirteen again. It says, "Let us walk." Let us walk uh, honestly as in a day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness, not in strife and envy, but put ye on the Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach, and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. So put on the Lord. Hey, your mind should be uh, things of the spirit. You know, I need to go ahead and read. I don't listen to this video. I don't go going and camp with these bros, you know. It says, and make not provision, provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof. So, hey, to hell with my flesh. You see, hey, the, the, this is sinful flesh. The flesh want to go out and, you know, go hit up that party or, you know, go do this or, or go do some fleshly shit. It, right. it's, that's the battle. But, hey, know, knowing the times we're in, what manner of person are she to be? Are you to be, man? You see? That's right. Hey, that's why I tell you, say, as the 14th chapter, all right, to put off. Um, mm-hmm. well, you know I get you, it for you. Kind, kind, kind. This uh second address chapter fourteen and uh start verse thirteen. The second address fourteen and verse thirteen. It says, "Now therefore set thine house in order, right. reprove thy people, comfort such of them as be in trouble, and now renounce corruption." Right, doing things that's in the spirit, man. All right, setting your house in order, man. Making sure that you're on point for your Abba Shemal Shad, man. All right, damn, am I doing this? Hey, hey, look, hey, looking in the mirror, man. All right? Hey, um, hey, hey what to say, uh, uh, hey, no, you're not your own sales, man. Mm-hmm. You know? Hey, whether, whether you be in a, whether you be in examine, a faith, man. Examine yeah. yourself whether you be in a faith. Right. You know, hey, you got to examine yourself, man. Set your house in order to get everything right with, for your Habash Shemal Shad, man. All right? We're proving our people, man, being the prophets, man. All right? Not no fucking, uh, uh just summertime prophets or whatever, man. All right, but all year round prophets, man. All right, doing what the prophets are supposed to be doing, man. Mm-hmm. All right, stand in the spirit. All right, because hey, we know we know what's to come down a pipeline, man. We know what's about to hit 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 this place, man. All right, hey, even if this shit was to happen, hey, hey years from now, man, we still supposed to be we still supposed to be the prophets, man. Mm-hmm. Still supposed to be warning the people, man. All right, living up that voice, man. All right, hey, not being lax of days cool with it, but hey, going hard for y'all, about Shemal Shai, man. Because mm-hmm. hey, hey, these people are going into Going into the house of Murph, man. Mm-hmm. Which what? The house of Murph? They run into a fucking Bernie building, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's about to collapse on their ass, man. You know? Mm-hmm. Yep. It says, verse 15, And set aside the thoughts that are most heavy unto thee, right. and hasty to flee from these times. That's right. Set set these these fleshly thoughts to the side, man. All right? Hey, what, what, what am I going to do in this time? You know? Damn, you know, how, how am I going to do this? How, hey, no, give it all up to y'all about Shemel Shad. All right, we can't be thinking about things in the flesh. We can't be leaning upon the flesh, man. All right, we got to lean upon the spirit. All right, we got to walk in the spirit, man. All right, whatever our elders and apostles tell us to do through the spirit and power of y'all about Shemel Shad. All right, hey, you do it, man. All right, hey, we got to do a video a day. All right, do it, man. All right, and hey, we got to go on the highways and bad ways. Do it, man. All right, you got to be, be inside the group chats, man. All right, be inside the group chats. All right, do whatever you got to do. For your Habba Shemal Shah to make sure that you have the 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 the, the fullest reward that you can get, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know? Hey, what did, what, what uh, brothers in our camp say? It's only your salvation. That's right. Hey, this is only your salvation, man. Hey, however much you esteem your salvation, that's how you're going to get, man. Hey, scripts say, hey, you reap what you sow. Mm-hmm. Hey, you have to put it, put it in, man, what you expect to get out. Hey, if you, what the brothers said, hey, uh, storing up your spiritual treasures, man. Because hey, th- hey, that's what we have to look forward to in this society, man. Hey, we looking forward to new, uh, new heavens and new earth, man. Hey, and th- all these, all these people have to look forward to is death and destruction. That's mm-hmm. right. And hey, the Lord said, "Think not that I come to send peace on earth." He said, "I came not to send peace, but a sword." And the Lord's come back with that destruction, and it's inevitable. The Lord says, "Where will not return to him and void, man?" So no matter what the hell you do, the Lord's gonna come back and destroy this place. No matter what the hell you do, no matter what the hell you feel. The Lord is going to come back and judge this place, man. So what are you going to be doing, man? It says, what well, uh, well, the brothers going to get that? Yeah. Uh, 2 Peter 3, man. Mm-hmm. Can you, uh, yeah, I'll finish with that. I uh, just got a little more. Can you grab um, Sirach, the sixth chapter, and the last verse right quick? Kind of. you know, because, hey, you, like the brother said, hey, hey you got to hey, you got, you got to make the best of your reward, man. 
doing everything that you can for the Lord. Mm -hmm. This is Sirach chapter 6 and verse 37. It says, let thy mind be upon the ordinances of the Lord mm -hmm. and meditate continually in his commandments. He, still, he shall establish thine heart and give thee wisdom at thy own desire. Right, at your own desire, man. So, hey, hey the Lord is going to give you, all right, hey, these things at your own desire. How much do you want it, man? Mm -hmm. All right? How bad do you want, you know, hey, 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 uh, uh, the utmost reward that you can get, man, from your Habba Shema Shah? You know, so hey, you got to hey, you gotta be doing your best, man. You got to let this world go, man. You can't love this world, man. Mm -hmm. All right? As it says in uh, 1 John, the second chapter, man, the 15th uh, verse, man. I got that right there. Damn, that's spirit. I got you. Uh, <clears throat> this is this first John 2 and 15. It says, Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Mm -hmm. Right. So hey, if you if you love this world, the love, hey, how about Shmael Shazai in you, man? <laughs> mm -hmm. You wanna do you wanna go out here and fucking riding, man? All right? Mm -hmm. Living it up, man. All right? When all hell's about to break loose, man. <laughs> You want to go out here and fucking go party, all right? Go chase after fucking, you know, women or whatever, man. Chasing after your dreams and all this other shit, man. <laughs> all right? Hey, man, hey, man. The Lord ain't dealing with that, man. Right. And, hey, what, what's going to happen? It says, for all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life is not of the Father, but it's of the world. All these things are of the world, man. None of these things are of the Habba Shemal Shai. Mm -hmm. Lusting, man. Yep. All right, want to live it up, want to fill up your fucking uh, pockets and all these other things, man. Right. Hey, you know? what did the uh, what did the Lord Yahweh Shai say, man? He said, "This is not my kingdom, man." He said, "If this is my kingdom, my servants would fight." Right. Hey, well, he says, "But my kingdom is not his." Hey, this this isn't a time for you to be trying to make it. Hey, look at our people. Look at look at you. Look at yourself. Mm -hmm. Look at what the hell we live in, man. Mm -hmm. This place is completely ass backwards. It says what he's turning the things upside down should be esteemed as the potter's clay, man. Mm -hmm. You know that's why the Lord says he's gonna overturn, overturn, overturn it, man. That's right. Hey, what? Hey, this place is ass backwards, so it has to be flipped right, man. And only the Lord is gonna do that. We have to wait upon him, man. Yeah. Hey, the brother quoted earlier the uh, Micah two and ten, man. You know this is not our rest, man. Yep. Hey, this place will mm -hmm. destroy you with a sword of destruction, man. All right, which hey, is what's gonna happen to those mm -hmm. those people that want to hold on and love this world? You're gonna be destroyed with a sword destruction, man. Mm -hmm. It says, hey, this is what's gonna happen. It says, in the world passeth away, <laughs> yep, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of the Most High abideth forever. So hey, all this shit is gonna pass away, man. It says, knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that a triumph of the wicked is short. And a joy of a hypocrite is but for a moment. Yep. For a moment. Hey, the wicked is not going to last, man. The hey. Lord is all righteous. They say in the book of Hebrews, uh, sin uh, for a, uh, a season. season. Yeah. You know, the, hey, it's, hey, you can go out and live your life and have fun and say, you know what? I ain't going to worry about this. You know, I'm going to live my life, do my best life. But guess what? The most high going to bring judgment uh, for, uh, to that, you know? That's right. Hey, hey, why why go and have fun for a short time, you know? Right. I got something really quick, though. This, uh... 1 Corinthians 7 and 31. That's spirit. Yep. This is 1 Corinthians 7 and 31. And it reads, it says, And they that use this world as not abusing it, for the fashion of this world pass away. Everything that's here in this place, hey, it's going to be done. The works. I'm going to grab that in Peter next. Hey, hey, the works, man. Hey, the trends, the fashion, the female. All this going to be turned to ashes, man. You see? So why strive for something that's, that's going to be inevitably destroyed? Right. This Second Peter chapter 3. And you can't even do nothing, man. <laughs> hey, 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 if you don't take his 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 juice, yeah. you know, in the upcoming months, you know, hey, hey, you're not gonna be able to go to gyms. You're not even gonna be able to do nothing. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. So, they so, say you can't go. Yeah, yeah. Literally, you can't go to gyms. You can't go to basketball. You know, um, you can't was it free? Life. You know, you, you know, you, right. you go on the little basketball shits. You know how people you gonna go be to outcast gyms to play basketball or whatever, yeah, man. Yeah. You know, you can't do none of that of shit, man. Yeah. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't even be around. You can't be around people, man. If you don't have, if you don't have his juices, they shooting at you, man. And everything is weird, man. Like literally, <laughs> people crazy. people act like you, they don't know each other. Everything is weird now. Mm -hmm. it, it, it ain't why why hang on to this place, you know? Ooh. And it's Second Peter chapter three and verse seven. Uh, and it reads, it says, verse seven. But the heavens and the earth, which are now by the same word, 
are, res are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. So this heaven and this earth, this, this age of wickedness that we're living in, hey, it's reserved unto fire. Uh, it says against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. So it's a judgment coming to this place. And for those that love this place, you know, it says verse eight. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years and a thousand years as one day. Verse 9, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to usward, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So, hey, the Lord, hey, he's telling you, like, look, just repent. Come and serve me. Yeah. Like, it ain't going to do you no harm. It's going to only benefit you, right? It says, it says uh, verse 10, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. In which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. Hey, it's gonna come as a thief in the night, cause you, cause people are not looking out for it, man. Right. You see, it says, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and all the works that are therein shall be burnt up. So, hey, Twitter gonna be burnt up, man. Yeah. You know, a hey, hey, social media gonna be burnt up. You know, a hey, a hey, a hey, hey, all these fucking colleges gonna be burnt up, man. The women gonna be burnt up, man. Yeah, all the lust of the world, man. Hey, exactly. <laughs> Verse 11, seeing then that all these things shall be dissolved. So, hey, uh, that damn Hellcat, the SRT, <laughs> motherfucker, that PS5. Mm -hmm. All that's going to be turned to, it's going to be dissolved. It says, what manner of persons are you to be in all holy conversation and godliness? Right. Seeing the Lord finna come back, and it's evident. Everybody knows it. You know, they're, they're just not, just not two-thirds of our people. You go talk to other nations. They know something's going to happen. They prepare, you know. They got their guns and they, you know, they got their bug out plan stuff. But Jake's still trying to hold on and trying to party and turn this bitch up. Yeah, hey, and, and that's really because in the other parts of the world, man, it's, 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 it's going it's happening. on, man. It's happening. <laughs> yeah, it's through. Mm -hmm. Shit, you got, you got, they, they police is, you know, chasing them down, man. All right? Hey, tackling them and shit, man. <laughs> Forcing them to, hey, grabbing them, humaning them up, man. Taking them to, to you know, concentration camps and shit, man. Right, for them not wanting to take, you know, uh, the juices and shit, the waters, mm -hmm. man. You know, this is verse uh, thirteen. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. So, hey, we got the hope of the Holy Scriptures, man. Hey, hey, we see, hey, hey, we have a rest. The Scriptures say, uh, there, there remain a rest for the people of God. Hey, here we have no continual city, but we seek one to come. Oh, hey, we gonna be able to live it up in the kingdom of heaven. It's right around the corner, man. So he put that work in so we can escape these times, escape the judgment that's going to come to this place, and they live forevermore right. in righteousness. Yep. Yeah. It says, verse uh, 14, Wherefore, beloved, seeing that ye look for such things, be diligent that ye may be found of him in peace without spot and blameless. Seeing that we that we want to get to these things, hey, we got to make sure we got to keep our hands as clean as possible. Hey, be on the lookout for the Lord and hey, be without spot. Right. Uh, verse 15, an account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, have written unto you. You know, that was a point on that. You got something? I got one. This, uh, I got Hebrews 4. <clears throat> this is uh, Hebrews chapter 4, and I started at verse 11. It's a brother saying, it says, let us, it says, let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Hey, and this is that perfect rest, man, the rest that Yahweh Shai is going to give us, the rest that we, and we couldn't have in, the, in past times, man. The Lord is going to give us this eternal rest. We have to labor to get into this, man. And we're not going to be, hey, on the deeds of this flesh, man. We're not going to be uh, about the money, the cars, the clothes, the hoes, man, etc. No, man, we're going to be about what the Lord wants to do. It says, be not conformed to this world, man, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, man. Right. And we have to be tra a transformed. Hey, our mind has to be renewed through the spirit of the Lord so we can hey, labor, so we can get this rest, man. Hey, because what, hey, what they have stored up is what's passing away, man. Mm -hmm. what these it's corruptible. People, yeah, it's, it's a corruptible crown that these people are. Come on, come mm -hmm. on. That these people are fucking fighting for it, man. Mm-hmm. Hooping, man. <laughs> Fucking uh, hooping. First Corinthians nine. God. This First Corinthians nine and verse uh twenty four it says, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize, so run that ye may obtain. Yeah, you gotta you gotta be putting your best foot forward, so to speak, man. Mm -hmm. Run that you may obtain. This isn't something to be light, man. 
This is something that everyone just stumbles across, man. Ain't no sad job. A little sad hustle. <laughs> little a little part-time hustle. Hebrew, you part- know. <laughs> a, a, a part-time man of the Lord, man. You know. Hey, the Lord, hey, this is something you should be extremely thankful for. The Lord is rewarding, is going to reward us for doing the right thing. Hey, the whole duty of the day, the Israelite man, is to fear the Lord and keep his commandments. Mm-hmm. Right. That is the right thing to do. The Lord is giving you a kingdom, man, for a hey, eternity. Something that we cannot fathom. Something that, hey, this place cannot, hey, it pales in comparison, man. And all you got to do is cast off the cares of this world and just believe and trust in the Lord. <laughs> something right. that's gonna pass away anyway. Yeah. Like 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 that's something gonna be destroyed, man. Come on, man. Hey, hey, in this world, all you got, all it is, is is fucking hardship, uh, and, and fucking hard ass expectations you gotta live up to. Fuck all that, man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, live unto the Lord, man. Yeah, it's that man. simple. So, right, yeah. right. Because hey, the, the righteous are gonna get an everlasting reward, man. That's right. All right. Hey, hey, the wicked is hey, the the end of the wicked is destruction, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Death, sufferings, yeah. man. Yeah. Famine, you know. The four sword judgments, man. Newly created beasts in the earth, man. Nothing good. Hey, hey, spirits created with vengeance. Hey, none of those things are good. Hey, when you read the uh Sirach, the 40th chapter, man. Hey, can we just bounce that real quick? Mm-hmm. Bounce back. I don't want to butcher it. Hey. And then also, um, I want to go into this word run as well, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Come on. Hey, well, um, it's like it's like all the way at the top. And it and it says. All right, let me see. Yeah, you got it. I'll give you one. Yeah, it says that the Lord is what? It says he's angry with the wicked every day. Yep. Hey, the, the most high man of every of all existence is angry with your ass every day. Man, it's it's smoking his nose. God yeah. damn. Mm-hmm. Come on. This rock chapter 40 and verse 9, it says, Death and bloodshed, mm. strife and sword, mm. calamities. None of those mm. things are good, man. Mm. Famine, tribulation, and the scourge. These things were, it's like it, verse 10, it says, these things are created for the wicked, Shit. and for their sakes came the flood. Yep. And flood, and the next flood is about to come, man. All right? With that, with the ICBM, ICBM nuclear missiles, man, raining down from the heavens, man. All right? Hitting you people, man. God and you're going to be damn, tormented, man. man. All right? It says, hey, if you, if you worship that image, all right, if you took the MOTB, man, all right, hey, which is following the ways of this world, man, all right, hey, you're going to be destroyed by the Lord, man. You're going to be tormented, man. All right, so that they had no rest, man. All right, mm-hmm. no rest, day nor night. So that means your ass is going to be burning nonstop for a very, very, very long time, man. However long your Habash Mouth Shot wants you to be down there burning, man, you're going to be burning, man. Mm-hmm. All right? Hey, and also, man, all right, hey, hey, hey for, for you motherfuckers who, who, who die early, man, all right, you get destroyed by the, the four sword gems, you get destroyed by martial law, you get killed by famine. Guess what? The Lord can raise your ass right back up, all right? Raise you right back up, just like hey, on Dragon Ball Z with Vegeta. All right, Goku uh, buried Vegeta and shit, man. After yeah, right Freezer killed grave. him, all right, and then they they wished him back with the Dragon Balls. He came right up at the grave, like damn, man, damn, I'm here, like shit. I thought I was in, yeah, yeah, I, I thought, thought I was, I was in hell, dead, man. Say, say, yeah. I thought I was in hell, man. You know, you get raised back, right back up. You raised back up to for a fucking nuke to hit you right on the top of your head, man. Mm-hmm. You know, hey man, it's a fearful thing to fall to the hands of the living power, man. That's right. Hey man, hey, hey, go to that house of mourning, man. Yeah. All right. Hey, be suffering right now, man. Hey, fuck this world, man. All right, serve your Habash Shemal Shah, man. All right? Because if you're not doing that, you're going to suffer regardless, man. Mm-hmm. Cool. Shit. I'm going to go back to 1 Corinthians. Con. And that that um that word, run, on that 1 Corinthians 9 and, uh, what is it, 24? Yep. Con. Yep. Con, this, um, this is the word for it. Strong's G, 5143, Trejo. All right. And it says to run a person's in haste of those who run in a race course. Right. When you see some someone running all right, inside of a race course, man, they're not they're not just taking their good old time. They sprinting with everything that they got. Yeah. You know, they want to be number one. You know, they ass out of breath and shit, man. You know, they damn, I gave them all, you know, mm-hmm. like that's how we want to be, man. You, you want to give it your all, man. Hey, run with everything that you got for the Lord, man. Shit, cause hey, these the rewards of these people, man, they, they they're gonna be destroyed, man, cause they didn't they didn't even they they were they were they were the, the hair, man, all mm-hmm. right, with the tour and hair story, the tour and uh, hair story, man, all right, they just laid down and slept, thought nothing was gonna happen. They got know? vain and shit, they got proud and shit, you yeah. know. They like, oh man, I'm gonna smoke it now, I'm gonna take it in that vein in their opinion. You right, know? right. Hey, then your ass lose, man. Yep. <laughs> and that's what's gonna happen to these people. 
Yep, verse 25. And every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Can you look at that word temperate? Uh -huh. It says, now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible. And they look at LeBron James, right? Nigga, work his ass off. For a hey, hey, to be the you know the, the best entertainer, best hooping ass nigga, you know, that he can. You know he cold and all, but hey, when it boils down, he just a basketball player. This nigga plays basketball. This nigga hoop. This nigga hoop. What the this is what he does. But what hey, hey is that? Exactly. But hey, he be putting in that work for that, man. But it, it's a it, it, it's a corruptible crown though, man. You see? Right. It says, but we an incorruptible, so we fight for everlasting life. Uh, hey, hey, we fight for deliverance. A hey, sal salvation from what's gonna happen, man. So we gotta put that work in most definitely. Mm -hmm. This is the word um temperate. Alright. Strong's G fourteen sixty seven. Ekratuamai. Ekratuamai. Alright. Ekratuamai it says to be self controlled, content, to exhibit self government conduct, oneself temporarily te temporarily. Says in a figure and a figure drawn from athletes. Who in, who in preparing themselves for the games abstain from wholesome food, wine, and sexual indulgence. So yeah, like fortitude, you have self-control, you got to, uh, hey, hey, we prudent, man, you know, mm -hmm. preparing yourself. Right, right. And they also, man, these, these, these men, right, who, who, who participate inside these games, right, whether it be basketball, football, boxing, man, all right, and they're doing these things for a corruptible crown, man, all right, they, they're putting their flesh in, sub in subjection, man. All right, that's what they're doing. They put their flesh in, in subjection, all right, so that they can obtain something that, that, that they that they uh hold dear to their hearts, man. All right, and we hold this dear to our heart, man. And that shit right? ain't gonna get them nowhere, right? Mm -hmm. You know, but hey, 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 this this is gonna get us somewhere. And this is gonna get <laughs> man, you out of this fucking man, hell that's some, coming to yeah, this place. Yeah, it's gonna get you protected, man. And then it's gonna get you things that you can't even fathom, man. Mm -hmm. You know. It says, verse 26, I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so far I, not as one that beat of the air, but I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. That's right. So, hey, we're going to, hey, we finna give it our all, man. We finna put that work in and lay hold on eternal life, man. To hell with, 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 with this world, man. Hey, hey, this place is clean slated for destruction. All this stuff is finna be passed away. It ain't gonna do you no good. The damn Jordan's gonna get passed away. The drip gonna get passed away. All that, man. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey, it ain't gonna do you no good, man. Let hey, man, that shit go. Con. Hey, when all hell break loose, hey, you you ain't even gonna be able to get to none of that shit, man. Yeah. Whether it be a car, all right. Whether it be a house, man. Your ass is gonna be snatched up and thrown into a concentration camp, man. <laughs> you know. Hey, hey. So shit, why 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 hold on to the things of this life, man? Mm -hmm. All right. The things of this life are not. Are not forever, man. Mm -hmm. All right? It tells you that in uh, Matthew's the sixth chapter, man. Right? right? Right. Hey, all these things are corruptible, man. All these things pass away. But hey, when you store up treasures in the heavens, those are eternal. Men can't break through and steal those. Men can't mm -hmm. touch any of those things, man. man. You know? This is Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 4. Riches mm -hmm. profit not in a day of wrath, but righteousness delivered from death. So, hey, riches, hey, whatever it is, you know, hey, whether it be money, you know, uh, substance or whatever, hey, that ain't going to do you no good. So why, why, why am I finna bust my ass at the end of the world to get all this stuff just for it to fail me? It says, but righteousness delivered from death. So having faith in the Lord, uh, coupled with those words, that's going to get you uh, delivered. That's going to find, that's going to help you find favor with the Lord, man. You know? All right. All right, a righteous and wise man will see these things and say, damn, man, okay. Hey, all here, hey, hey man, I, I see the world is changing, man. Let me, let me try to get, let me try to. How can I find be protected? something deeper, you know? Mm -hmm. Hey, damn, okay, I see these men standing out here on the highways and badways every week. Let me go and inquire and let me go talk to these men and, and actually see some and live my life according to what they're living. But no, man, hey, they, they the simple pass on into destruction, man. All right? They're not looking mm -hmm. towards the how about your mouth shot. They're not looking to see and say, well, you know, man, let me let me stop. Let me stop, you know, living it up and giving into marriage and, you know, doing all these other things. No, man, because they're blinded, Ooh. man, you know? So, hey, they're, they're going to be caught up inside, inside that snare, man. They're going to be destroyed, man. All right, but, hey, hey us in the know, all right, if we're supposed to stay, 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 on, that, stay up on that straight, uh, that straight road, man, straight that straight and path. Narrow. Yep, yep. I got one real quick. This First Peter 4 and 1, for as much then as Hamashiach have suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourself likewise with the same mind, for he that has suffered in the flesh have ceased from sin. So, hey, endure that straight gate right now. A hey, hey, broad is the gate that leadeth to death. 
Mm-hmm. Hey, 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 them niggas that's outside playing basketball, chasing after women, doing all that. Hey, them niggas is on the road to destruction. Hey, entering at that straight gate, yeah, it's uncool sometimes. It's unpopular, you know. It may seem a little tough, but hey, the reward is is is, is way better than what these niggas finna get. Verse 2, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh to the lust of men, but to the will of the most high. And that's what we must do, man. Hey, to hell with this world, to hell with the expectation, man, to hell with what people want us to do. Right. We finna live to the Lord. It says, verse 3, for the time past of our life may have sufficed us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles when we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatry. So that was enough. We had enough of that, you know, back then. It's time to live unto the Lord. Right. The Lord is right here. Hey, putting out all from day to day. Hey, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call you upon him while he is near. Mm-hmm. Verse 4, wherein they think it's strange that you run not with them to the same SS of riot, right. speaking evil of you. So, yeah, you know, it's going to seem uncool. People going to say, oh, that nigga weird or whatever. It's cool, but them niggas going to die. Yeah, hey, hey, because ultimately you made yourself a prey, man. Mm-hmm. How we coming to the truth, you make yourself a prey. Yep. Because this is the evil world, man. Mm-hmm. Only thing this world wants is folly and wickedness, man. And they want to drag your ass right down right. with them, man. They, they really not... miserable. Yeah. Hey, hey, it's saying uh, wisdom of yeah, Solomon in right. the fifth chapter. Yeah. It says we have erred the way of the Lord. We have not known it. Yeah. But we were going through uh, deserts. We didn't did all this. It say that they wearied themselves in wickedness. That's what these people are doing, man. Yeah. It's nothing else in this world but but hurt, pain. Oh, okay, let's let's okay, let's turn up in the world, you know, let's go pop some pills, you know, mm-hmm. sip some potions, you know, you know, uh destroy our bodies. That's all it Sin is that's in this season, world. Man. Sin for a season. Mm-hmm. And then that shit don't even last, man. You come down, you feel like pure shit, man. <laughs> come exactly. down off them drugs, man. Your ass popping Percocets, ecstasies and all this other bullshit, sipping codeine and lean and shit, man. All right? And when you come down off that shit, you feel like death, you man. You feel empty. You know? Cause none of those things, it's all witchcraft, man. None of those things are 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 are, are good for you, man. That's why I say it's a go. We we just go. Can we just grab uh, Ecclesiastes seven and two? Mm-hmm. Better go to the house of mourning. Yeah, con con. This Ecclesiastes chapter seven and verse two. It is better to go to the house of mourning than to go to the house of feasting, for that is the end of all men, mm-hmm. and the living will lay it to his heart. That's right. So, hey, man, hey, it's better to go to the house of mourning, man. All right, serving you how about Shmuel Shad, man? All right, being looked at as a being an outcast, man. All right, being hated among men, man. All right, mm-hmm. hey, what's saying Luke the um the sixth chapter, man? All right, hey, 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 when men love you, man, you're a false prophet, man. Mm-hmm. All right, but hey, when they hate you, man, when they look down upon you, man. All right, hey, that means you're doing the right thing, man. All right, on your part, he is uh, on, you know, it says uh, it's like I mean, cut you off. It no, says no, no. basically uh. Uh, they're, they're reviling you, but on their, on your part, the Lord is glorified. Con, con, that's right. You know, because hey, these people look at us as doing the right, the wrong thing. <laughs> hey, it says in John 16 and 2, man, hey, hey, those, hey, they killing you, they think that they're doing God a service, man. All right? But hey, truthfully, man, they're, 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 they're digging a deeper hole for themselves, man. Mm-hmm. All right? Because hey, they're doing the wrong thing, we're doing the right thing, man. Hey, we got to always remember that, man. Yep. What's well, popular? They say uh, on the highway to hell. Mm-hmm. It's a song. <laughs> literally, these niggas are on the highway to hell, man. Like these niggas are literally fat, just going to straight destruction, man. Literally, just hey, on the waxing <laughs> worse and worse. Yeah, going full full head speed to destruction, man. Going to hey, scripture said they're going the way that's not cast up. Mm-hmm. Hey, and Jeremiah the eighth chapter talks about how death should be chosen rather than life, man. These people right. literally want death, man. It says mm-hmm. they hey, their deeds were evil, man. Hey, it's a song I like. And it says, um, and the lyrics say, it's, it's never coming back. It's never coming back. You know, it says, say goodbye to the good old days. It's never coming back. Watch your future fade. Hey, it's never coming back, man. Look at, look at what the fuck going on right now, man. It's never coming back to the good old days, man. Hey, what, make America great again. Mm-hmm. America's not going to be great again. It says, we would have healed Babylon. But she is not healed, you, man. Huh? <laughs> hey, he said forsake her, man. Fuck Babylon, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Depart. Get mm-hmm. out of her. Receive now of her plagues, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, this Ecclesiastes 7 and 3, it says, Sorrow is better than laughter, for by the sadness of the countenance, the heart is made better. Mm-hmm. So it's, hey, it's better to a, a, a crowd now, man. You see? Hey, it says, hey, this place so weak, man. It's a, I believe in a book of Proverbs, it says, even in laughter, uh, there is sorrow, man. 
Cause it ain't even shit to do, man. You can go out there and try and go live it, be fun and shit. You know, it's gonna be a curfew. Mm-hmm. You know, it's gonna be restrictions. You gotta have it. You know, you gotta have a, the the wax. You know, hey, ain't shit to do, here, man. Mm-hmm. Hey, hey, we look for a new kingdom. Hey, a, a new earth, a new heaven, a new earth, man. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, Proverbs twenty nine verse two, man. All right, these people are really sad and depressed, man. Mm-hmm. All right, but they but they mask those things with fucking alcohol pills. All right, weed, man. And the illusion of them having fun. Right. Right. Which, hey, man, this world has nothing to offer, man. Mm-hmm. At all. <laughs> so why the fuck would you give... Why the fuck would you give your all into this world, man? Give your all to your Shah, man. Mm-hmm. Yep. Sir, the Lord, repent, man, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. That's right. Lest yeah. you be destroyed. Hey, it says to walk in the spirit is uh, life and peace. Yep. The, these these people perplexed. They trouble, man. I ain't, oh, man, I got to go make this 50K on my wife. You got to walk me. around with a gun okay. all day. Exactly, man. Hey, this, hey, everything outside of this is, is, is overly complicated, man. Hey, page, hey, in the book of Lamentations, it says it's good that a man should both, to both wait and patiently. I'm going to grab it really quick. Uh-huh. This is uh, Lamentations chapter 3 and verse 20. 20 uh, I'm sorry, verse 25. I'm sorry, verse 24. It says, Yahweh is my portion, saith my soul, therefore will I hope in him. Yahweh is good unto them that wait for him, to the soul that seeketh him. Verse 26, it is good that a man shall both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. And that's what we waiting on, man. Hey, hey, that's all. We ain't got to have no overly complicated life. No, we just going to wait on the salvation of the Lord. Because then after that, hey, it says our life is here with Hamashiach. Hey, when he appears, then then we'll be, a, you know, then we'll be alive with him. We're going to be glorified with him. But a hey, true life starts when this place is destroyed, man. Yep. So it's hell with this place, man. Don't 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 let this place bring you down, man. Bring you down with it. No. Mm-hmm. Right. Y'all got something? Nah. Hey, little one, this was an edifying lesson. Call her law. Yahweh by Shem. Yahweh Shai by Shem. Rachakwadash. The bonds to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Say taste to our liking. Preserve with true, shared with charity. Shalom, Barakatham, and a Baba Ball. A Baba Ball.